Hello, my name is Belinda Cornish and I am the playwright of the Barno Block, which was due to open last Saturday at the Citadel and has, of course, like um, all theatre across the country and across the world, now been postponed. <clears throat> I was actually also due to be appearing in, in Peter Pan Goes Wrong, which was next up at the Citadel and has now um, also been postponed. So I um, have a little time on my hands right now, like so many of us, and uh, so I thought I'd fill some of that time by um, joining up with my fabulously talented husband, Mark Meir, to bring you a little excerpt of the Garno block. Now, we originally thought that, you know, we'd, we'd do a, a sort of two-person scene for you because, you know, we're, we're two people in a house with some dogs. Um, but then I thought, you know, the Garno Block is, um, is an ensemble show about community. And so I thought maybe it would be a better representation of the play if, if Mark and I um, tried to play as many of the characters as we can. Uh, with the assistance, perhaps, of some hats. Um, so what we'll be doing for you is the, uh, the first half of the final scene of Act One, where the whole community of the Garno Block is coming together for a sort of mysterious community block party. Um, well, someone means business. Oh, Cafe Linnea. Well, at least it's local. This is a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. Don't don't you think we should wait? Well, what are they going to do? Arrest us? Cheers. Eyes, eyes. Oh, oh <laughs> my God! What is the is is this the let's fix it thing? Hello, darling. I haven't seen you since the mayor's evening. How did it go? <gasps> That's right. You hosted. Did you meet the mayor? Oh, we've met before. We did a radio thing. He is tall. And handsome. Not as handsome as my stalker. You have a stalker? Mm -hmm. This guy has been following me everywhere. Well, that's terrifying. Are, aren't you worried? No. Should I be? Oh, I probably should. But he's just so good looking. Well, so is Ted Bundy. Well, wreck my day, why don't you? Have you seen Madison? No, she's probably downstairs being sick. Why? Is she ill? No, she... No, she maybe ate something. <laughs> Shirley, did you cut your hair? No, I just washed it. Well, you look gorgeous. Uh, ah, David! Bonsoir! Uh, where is Madison? Well, I don't know. Do you really think she's ill? Uh, no, when did I say that? Oh, just look at this! Wow. Ugh. Developers, I'm telling you. David thinks some megacorp's gonna tear down the house and build a multi-story commune. Oh, God, I hope not. Madison enters. Sweetheart, are you feeling all right? Jonas said you were sick. No, I'm fine. Where did all this come from? Uh, we're not caring, we're consuming. Oh. Raymond enters, holding a cardboard box containing his possessions from work. And here he is, my professor, looking cute and rumpled. Why are you bringing all these things home? I've been fired. What? <laughs> they fired me. I've been fired. Well, but they can't. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Shirley. Oh, it's all my fault, Shirley. Oh, honey, <laughs> what happened? I'll, I'll tell you later. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, oh, is all of this food for me? Um, <laughs> no, no. It's a, it's the, it's the. Let's fix it. The, the community. Let's fix it thing. Oh, right, right. I forgot. <laughs> All right, well, it's six. We're all met. Where are these guys? Oh, Dad, can we just stop? Well, I don't know what we're waiting for. Who's missing? Well, what about him? I don't think he speaks English. Don't you remember when he moved in and you gave him that fruit basket? He could barely say thank you. Oh, well, he was blinded by your beauty, Shirley. Oh, stop, you monster. No, no, he's right. You are beautiful. <laughs> Shall we take these things inside? <laughs> I drank that whole bottle of champagne I was saving for my retirement. <laughs> they exit. Barry enters. Hey, David. Sorry I'm late for the thing. They closed down half a 109 for no apparent reason. Oh, hey. 
if it isn't the generous and lovely Mrs. David, <laughs> she of the walnut muffins. Hello. Hey, I'm Barry Mackinaw. I was a friend of Ben's. David. Hi, Madison Weiss. Nice to meet you. What is he doing here? Oh, I, I showed him the flyer. Uh, um, Jonas Pond? I didn't think he'd show up. Hey, you look kind of familiar. David, this isn't appropriate. I'm an actor. Ah, yeah, did you do a commercial for, um... Uh, oh, uh, the Brick. The Brick, that's right. Hey, nice work. Uh, Barry? Uh, Barry, can I, can I have a word? Yeah, you sure thing. Excuse me a minute. So, what's up, David? Uh, look, Barry, I, I, I don't think you should be here. And why did you invite me? Well, I didn't. I showed you a flyer for our community meeting. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was about Ben. No, look, if, if you want to celebrate Ben in some way, that's, that's a nice sentiment. But maybe you could visit his grave. Or... Uh, he was cremated. Yeah, uh, Gene scattered his ashes in Emily Murphy Park. She did not. That's illegal. Look, do you see any of Ben's other friends here? Well, I don't know if Ben had many friends. It's not a memorial. It's a... I'm sorry if I gave you that impression, but it's it's a private community meeting. Wasn't that a bit of an oxymoron there, David? Hmm? Private community meeting? Well, the flyers were only put up on this street. And I think whatever we have to solve is best solved amongst the people who live on this street. You're serious, aren't you? You actually want me to leave. Look, I'll tell you all about it tomorrow over a pumpkin spice latte, okay? My treat. Wow. You know, David, this might actually be part of your issue here. You know, this? Yeah, we don't have an issue, Barry. Then why are you having a meeting? Well, so long, everybody. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your evening. Well, what, 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 what now? Did you just make him leave? Oh, David, don't look so hangdog. I'm sure he'll be fine. Was that the guy you argued with at Starbucks? Uh, your mother's right. It wouldn't have been appropriate. Why not? Uh, well, uh, what, what, what's happening? Uh, ooh. Ha We don't know who's hosting this thing. We can't have any old person wandering in with opinions, and especially not, I'm sorry, not a... A, a what? A... a no, don't look at me like that. Not because he's an an, an a a, what? An indigenous person. Good evening. It's because he's a transient. Well, what, wait, who's a transient? A transient? I don't think so. Uh, he didn't look like a transient. Well, now who's being prejudiced? Wait, who's a transient? The Starbucks homeless man. Uh, did you see those shoes? I know. I think they were flu bogs. Wait, wait, wait who who huh? is here now? Uh, that's no indication. The government handouts now. And I would never exclude someone based on their race. What about my friend Angela? You hated her. Uh, he, he, he probably shops at... Fluvog? Well, yeah, exactly. Oh, well, Angela? She was deeply you weird. Think he shops Are you telling me that I have to like someone benefits? just because they're oh, of a different Christ, race? That is ridiculous. No, we are no, all no, just Pat, people. Don't it's not like I like hang out with Shirley Pat. because I'm trying to prove I'm a point. I'm not putting on my socialist Wait, Who's hat? a socialist? No, I'm not in the mood to be late. Good evening! Good evening, everyone. I hope you have all had a pleasant day. I would like to welcome you to this meeting of the Garno Block community. My name is Rajinder Chowdhury, and I am your neighbor. Thanks for hanging out with us. Stay well, stay healthy, stay safe, stay sane. <laughs>